They splashed on the scene in the kickoff classic against USC. It was Curtis Enos in that one with 241 yards. But is he the game breaker everybody expected? Uh, Brad, I really don't think so. He's more in the Eddie George type mold. He's a power back, and he's depending on an offensive line to open up holes for him. He's going to punish the defense. They've had some injury problems in that offensive line. Bad news for Purdue today. They're back. They're healthy. And Wally Richardson, I think, is going to have to make more plays. He's not the Kajana Carter type back. Well, for parade downtown yesterday, it's game time. Time now, and we're underway. Watson, three yards deep, will not bring it out. But the Penn State offense will bring it out. Wally Richardson has struggled a bit. Only three touchdown passes and five interceptions. Slowed the fullback, Curtis Enos, who we talked about. Joe Jurevicius, the top receiver with 15 catches. Olsen the tight end, Nastassi the other wide out. And up front, Jason Henderson is back. Hasn't played since that kickoff classic against USC after breaking a bone in his leg. Ostrowski, Tilsch, Marzik, and Blick, the true freshman at left tackle, round out the front wall for Penn State. Yeah, it's almost been like rotating the tires. You know, you get a new one. <laughs> left one goes to the left rear, left rear to the right front. Here's Penn State in front from the 20-yard line. Enos, big hole up the middle. Curtis Enos into the secondary, goes for 17 on the first snap of the ball game. Third down and eight. Richardson to throw. Plenty of time over the middle. Enos out of the backfield, the midfield, and another first down. So across the field in motion. They'll just keep it on the ground to Enos. Enos all wrapped up, no place to hide. Roosevelt. Juravicious is the slot man. Richardson back to throw. Well, they got it back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Oh, Curry will check the lineups after the first snap. John Reeves at quarterback. And now on the fumble. Who's got this one? I think it bounced right back into his hands. Penn State, of course. Reeves. Tipped. Could have been intercepted. Somebody got a hand on it. Chris Snyder, I think, the defensive now. On a third down and 12. Out of the shotgun. Reeves steps up, has some time. Waits until the very last moment and trying to go down the middle. Not the greatest punt in the world. And taken on the hop at the 41 by Herring. A tough first series for the Purdue offense. Now it's Penn State from midfield, first down. Here's Curtis Enos spinning his way. Five yards rushing against Purdue last year. Here comes a blitz on Richardson. Penn State picked it up pretty well. The Stasi five. Here comes a blitz again. Eight man blitz. Richardson rifles it. Nice pass down to the 25 to Chris. State passing game against blitzes is they go for first downs. We saw it a couple years ago against Wisconsin. They kept trying to pick away, pick away. One mistake and then first down just inside the Purdue 25 yard line. And he is dropped in his tracks. Richardson play action. Throws out wide, opens Enos out in the flat. First down for Enos. Now near the close, what they've done inside the 20 so far this year. Here comes Enos. Enos, touchdown. <laughs> 17 yards. This is going to happen to you. You got the two guys following. You got almost like three huge guys filling that hole right there. Marsick and Blick, the new start. Yard march on the ninth play. He took it in from nine yards out. 7 0 Penn State. <laughs> Lee Johnson from the three. Just as he on every snap. Play action. And incomplete to get bigger on the front wall. He's their leading tackler. Short for Nattle and Snyder up there. Filardi had a huge game last year against Purdue with 15 tackles, joining Collins and Nelson in the linebacking core. And in the secondary, Brian Miller, two-time All-Big Ten with Tate, Herring, and Lee. And Miller and Herring are quality football players. They really are. Second down and 10. Reeves is 0 for 3. He'll work from the shotgun high snap. And now he gets nailed at the 15-yard line. And that was going to be a running play from shot position. Ja Whoa. Reeves is lucky he got this one right here. And by the time he got there, the blocking was not safe. Rogers to punt. Got a nice one off. Herring is back, waiting on it at the 28, and he lost it. 
And Purdue's got this one. Nope. Wait a minute. The official says it's Penn State's. How can he tell so fast? I don't know. I thought for sure there was a boilermaker on the bottom of the pile. Almost three to go here. Out of the shotgun is Reeves. This will be a run. Quarterback draw. He's got the first down. He's got a bunch more. All the way to midfield. Here's some option with Reeves, the keeper. Got ten more. He has a bunch more. Reeves. Wow. The dog fight all day. He's got 61 yards rushing already. First down of the 21 of Penn State. Watson. That's a tough run by Ed Reeves. At the Penn State 19. Another quarterback draw. Reeves tripped field goal. That was last week against Minnesota. This one from 34. And he missed it. That takes away a nice drive. I don't think his coach did, though. <laughs> no, First so. down, here's a hit in the backfield, but Harris bounces off that and bounces off a couple other tacklers. Third down, seven. Richardson. Oh, boy, did he get hit as he threw it out to Enos. And Enos got a first down and then some. Curtis Enos all the way out to the 48-yard line. Copen had to track outside. Craig Williams is going to put the pressure on, but you can't defense it any better than this. Get pressure on the quarterback at a five-yard start. You get your linebacker out there. Your safety's on the play. You have great leverage. And then Enos, a good football player, just makes two people Three miss. Three of them on third down. Now as the running back, and he cuts outside. Enos got a block, used it beautifully, and got to the 36. Enos gets a rest. Everly, his counterpart. Everly again, left side, ran over one man, and he's got it to the Penn State drive, third down a dozen, quick snap. Go, go, go. Richardson all day to throw. Got his tight end down inside the 10 to the 7. Bob Stevenson against Purdue. See how the Lilburn, Georgia native does from the near hash mark. 24 yarders, perfect. Joe says, we'll take it, three more. 9-13 left first half, Penn State 10-0. Second and goal at the three-yard line. Enos going to have to do it himself. Coleman trying to bring him down and can't. Touchdown, Penn State. Marsick again pulled on the play and got his hit. And Enos took it to the corner. And guess who? Being 17 to nothing now. Number 71, who had been playing some tackles. The guy that pulled out was taken on the outside by O'Keefer. And then it's a sprint to the corner. And when your tailback goes over 225 pounds, and you're running against a corner that's about 185 to 190 pounds. I like the tailback on For Enos, and a 17 to nothing Nittany Lion lead. Watson. Seconds. Option. Whoa, Reeves got pelted by Jim Nelson. And on the line of scrimmage, that's who you're optioning on when you don't pitch it off your option, man. The option doesn't work very well. Stunt from the outside. Nelson comes slanting in there. Reeves does not get his eyes on the end man in the line of scrimmage. He scores another punt. Shotgun run again, I think. Quarterback draw. Nothing doing. Collins has them all wrapped up. Punt from Danny Rogers. That's Chris Campbell back deep for Penn State. Let's see if Penn State brings some heat on the punter, though. Or do they have the return set up? Rogers got it out of there. Campbell waiting on it. Takes it to 41. Gutsy return move by Campbell. And he weaves his way. Still on his feet. Campbell might go. Campbell on the punt return for a Penn State touchdown. <laughs> Try to block the punt. First guy down the field. Curtis Taylor slows down, doesn't try to get that penalty, and then all of a sudden, Campbell makes a couple guys miss, and he sprints it into the end zone. Now look, they got four guys right there that get faked out on one play. Then the balance. Stumbles, puts his hands down, and then there's nobody left into the end zone. And a game that was pretty tight, 10 to nothing, turns into a 24 to nothing game at half. Second down to 10. Matthews, second man through. Finally gets a little bit of breathing room. Snyder, even better numbers on the scoreboard for Penn State. They lead 24 to nothing. The goal was they take away his running north and south when he's going to come right at you, same thing. Looking at the halftime stats, when your offense can only produce 
five first downs at just 24 yards passing, you're in for trouble. I think Purdue, all in all, was really not that bad defense, Brad, but they just were on the field way 17, too much. 17, uh, rather 24 to nothing Penn State as we start the third quarter. Lee Johnson a yard deep. And doesn't make the 20 yards just inside the 20-yard line. And there is a rollout on the first play as Adrian called it. Gets him wide open, and then he shoots it incomplete in two. Scrambles. Pump fakes. Runs out of time. Down he goes. Nelson got him. Protection on this play was adequate. He had time to throw the ball. But then in the middle of the rush, Chris Snyder came in, forced him wide, and then there was no one to throw to. John did a good job of just saying, hey, you don't want to do it our way? You're not going to play. Richardson flares it out to the fullback slowed. One phase of your team going. Penn State has passed on all of its third downs. It's third, seven here. Richardson again to pass. And this one's intercepted. Second pickoff of the day. Second down, a long eight. Reeves, nice play fake. Has time and finds an open man, Alford. Two years to find another guy catch a touchdown pass for Purdue. That was Craig Allen. His Reeves on the run to Alford. Oh, he was he got up. hammered high and hammered low, but he held on to the ball. <laughs> Alford is going to curl up in the zone. Filardi comes across. Now watch this ball. You wouldn't even be able to see it. Just zip in there like that. Oof. Gets tattooed oh, and run. At the 44, first down. Here's the option to the short side again. I think we might not want to keep calling this the option. Comes a blitz. Reeves down the middle, found his man, complete to the trail at the line, 24 to nothing. Here's a draw play. That got nothing. Two other teams. Second down and a long eight. Play fake, Reeves in trouble. Down he goes. Third sack of the day. Fourth and 15. Reed steps up, got hit once in the pocket, deep middle, got it, and a touchdown to Willie Tillman. Well, there's fourth downs, and then there's fourth downs. Touchdown, Purdue. Penn State went with the new... And they're trying to decide on it. Mitchell will take it at the 12. And out across the top to a big lead, and now they've seen Purdue hang in with them. Counter here for Harris. He has run tough today, He's still on his feet. Harris, oh, that's as fun a six-yard run as you'll see. We start the fourth quarter. Harris, nice move outside, first down, and maybe a lot more. Saving a touchdown, Derek Winston. Aaron Harris just took off after that move in the backfield, got the sideline, and then turned on the speed. The line of scrimmage right here. Watch Everly come out and hook the end line on the line of scrimmage. Great job to allow your fullback to bounce it outside. Then just enough blocking downfield from the Stasi. And this guy is a load. Yeah, right yeah. That means they got two of them. Olsimer, the tight end, got a nice block. Up, Joe won the call. <laughs> Eight is. Bounced off for Richardson looking on the slant. Broken up, intended for Campbell, and a flag flies in. They're going to call a penalty on Jamal Cole. Two tight ends set. Enos, touchdown. His third of the day. Power play. They're going to pull Marsick again. That's the guy they're going to want to follow. Marsick, who had been playing a lot of tackle, they move him inside. He looks very comfortable as a pulling guard in this offense. Really was a little bit bogus, uh, really worked for Penn State. We might get a different opinion here in a second. Conway gets the kick. Lee Johnson dropped it at the five, and now he's in trouble, and down he goes at the three. Herring down there. And they're really, size-wise, really guards. They were playing a tackle, and they're not that big. And they're playing with the kid Blick, a uh, freshman, and they're... That's okay, no problem. He's definitely got it handled. This is a tough spot to be in, Reeves. Trying to throw from his own end zone. Got to watch for the safety. He got rid of it. Got to and Joe's got to get with it a little bit more. Third and 11. Reeves play action from his own end zone. You don't want to hold down here either. He throws for Alford incomplete. Would have been a first down had he held on. Waller Richardson's day apparently done. Threw a couple interceptions. And McQuarrie's in there now. And he goes down the middle incomplete. One of the co-captains for the Boilermakers. McQuarrie. Going to go deep. 
And this one is intercepted. It's Jamel Coleman. That's his third of the day. Well, he's got hit a few times. 31-7 and down inside their own three-yard line. Second down and 10. There he's got him. Alford with a catch. And a first down off to the including the touchdown. Play action again, and it got smothered. Yeah, and this one they were trying to. <laughs> Second down and 14. Reed down the middle. Completes it. To the fifth, right? Just pick out a different spot. Jones in motion. Reeves down the middle again. Complete shotgun. Uh oh, we got the shotgun scramble run here. Yeah, you call it. And he got an opening. Taken away from All for the motion. First down for Watson. Yards and receiving. Second down along two. Watson hitting the backfield. Looks just terrible. Sure does. Trefsker in there for him from the 14 on third and five. And Rick goes to the end zone. Off for a touchdown. Well, they're keeping it intact. They have. Arch to kick. Taken to the goal line by Watson. Watson breaks outside. Got it out to the. From the 43, first down. And room to run inside. Cordell Mitchell. Hagens finally rides oh, it. Remember, they play the Buckeyes. Hagens on a blitz with a sack on Mike McQuarrie. Okay, Rick Kresker in for the injured John Reeves. Nice play fake by Rick. Looking for a block. He's going to take off with this thing. The only thing is, not too many quarterbacks left for Purdue. He isn't on the side of the opposition today. This is a first handoff in quite a while. Ed Watson got a couple of the blitz out this time. Here they come. Picked up. Kresker has time. Down the middle to Tillman this time, and it's good for the first down the 18 yard line for Purdue. Draw play to Watson. Watson broke a tackle and holding on for dear life. Kresker, the straight drop, and goes over the middle and overshots Tillman as well. They're going to blitz Kresker. Again, it's picked up by Watson. Oh, and he overshot Tillman, who was open at the five. And Rick is upset with himself. That one just got away from him. Jeff Nixon. Where? Because Purdue plays Ohio State, and Penn State needs help to win the Big Ten title now. Should be the final play of the game. Choppy Fields goes off the left side. And things are going to come to an end here. 77th homecoming. Another win for Joe Paterno. Final score 31 to 14. For Gary Danielson, Adrian Karsten, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Brad Nessler. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. We'll see you in Madison, Wisconsin next week for the Badgers and the Wildcats.